what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some Nose Life. Today we've got 33 PC mods in testing. We've got 23 console mods in testing. With all those 27 mods were released today. Contra Kamiga Modding's F250 is out for PC players. JA Modding has some new screenshots of his John Deere 8110. North Modding Company's NMC Volvo's in testing. We could have a versatile tractor coming to all platforms. Custom Modding's Tiger May 255 is in game. FBT Modding are working on a new Massey Ferguson combine. Sir Vertex has some more new information on a sugarcane trailer. Plus, Dusty Dave is back, and we're getting an update to Bessie Benin. Let's check it out. It's SD4 PC. We have Avant Series, AWM Beetle, Bandit Mark Tires, Bigfoot 4x4x4, Case IH TC133, Compost, Euromass ST30, Legal ASW256, Garage 4 Machines, Gorant Graniter 280, Handling Pack Robert, Italia Demo Version, Italian Auger Wagons Pack, Kamaz 55111, Large Enclosed Shed, Man TGS Tank Pack, Man TGX Flegelback, Maple Tree Passive income. 600 and 900 kilogram weight. New sounds for the Zader and Ursa six cylinder with turbine. Plager Outlaw back in testing. Ayo, let's go. Raven 180. Reindeer. Riverbird. Rusty Acres 19. Scania T-Series 2 Brazil. Sigma Press Pack. Stewart PS18 23H. Ursus C-Series. This is a bad looking tractor. Yeah. Valtec VA 7300. Vehicle maintenance. W50 Truck. And the Whitefield Ball Series 3. In testing four consoles, we have the Avant Series. Friend Dog Houses, Chamberg Valley, Cork County, Demolishable Houses, Farm Buildings with Granary, Italian Auger Wagon Pack, JCBTM 420 Ecomax T4F, Lizard 17 220, Lizard 600 EL, Lizard Easy Scrape, Lizard PS 1823H, Lizard Rollmaster, Lizard T Series 2 Brazil, Lizard Tanker, Machine Shed, Modern House, New Holland T5 Series US, Old Bell Trailer, Pack of Modern Houses, Roush MDS 19. 19.1 Volvo NMC LM62640. We're going to talk about this one later. And Wooden Shed. With all that being said, we still have seven mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is still one work day. In addition to the mods and testing, 27 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod up. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Taking our way into today's top stories, and we start with Kanta Kamiga modding and their F250 mod. As you know, this was re-released a few days ago on console, which brought up some confusion. Where is it on PC? Well, later on the afternoon of Tuesday, once Farm Some News had completed and I was already out of town, they posted it on the Mod Hub for all platforms. So PC has it now, which is great news. They have already up there, they've already got an update in the works, which will add rack options to the back, as well as a bumper bar on the front. This update is currently being worked on for all platforms. JA Modding has a few new screenshots of his John Deere 8110 saying that the work on the interior has started and some options are being worked on right now too. The goal of this mod is to not only bring a highly requested mod into the game, but also bring a tractor with lots of dynamics, animations, details, so that you feel like you're actually inside the tractor. On the testing list today, you saw the machine that you see right here, the BM Volvo LM640. We also saw 620 version as well. This is an older skid steer telehandler type of vehicle made by North Mod Company for all platforms. They have said that the mod at release won't have much in the way of attachments, but more will be coming in a later, larger attachment pack for the mod. These picks were taken around mid-March, about a month ago or so, so things could have and probably have changed a little bit since these were taken. Either way, you'll likely see this on the mod up for all platforms soon. Do you want to see a versatile on consoles? Me too. Well, Brazilian modder Robinsosaurus may have answered our calls. They're working on a versatile 550 Delta track right now, which they say they're making for all platforms. As always, something like this would have to be rebranded since versatile themselves are not a partner or licensed brand of Farming Simulator 19, so you won't be able to come to all platforms. But having an alternate to the quad track or John Deere track tractors would be a great change of scenery. I'll keep you guys updated once there's more information announced on this project. Custom modding have their Case IH Tiger Mate 255 filled cultivator in game. They say coming soon to all platforms, though no other information was said or announced. 
If you want to check them out on Instagram, they I have a link down in the description below. Drop by and follow them as they post updates to current projects regularly there as they do on Facebook. So if you prefer to use Instagram versus Facebook, check them out. FBT Modding is working on a new combine, the Massey Ferguson 9790. As you know, the old Gen Massey pack is in full swing right now, coming to an end. We've got lots of other great old and new Massey tractors and combines in game as well. And now, another popular model to be added to the collection. It's not even English. Before long, we might have to get our back to our roots, I think, here on the channel. Back to a 100% Massey Ferguson farm on the next Let's Play. What do you guys think? We've been talking a lot about Servertex and their TAC 10500 transshipment sugarcane trailer lately. And today, we get some new screenshots and information on the mod. They say that it's already mapped with dynamic hoses, and all that's left to do is the UDIM and get it in game. They do say that these are some lower quality renders and you can tell them from here, but stay tuned as we will have some higher detailed renders out soon. And lastly today, big news! We finally have some new information on the PC current map, Bessie Beneath, which is a very popular roleplay and realistic series map that lots of big YouTubers and you guys have played on, most notably Virtual Farmer. By the way, just go check a series out on this, it's incredible. The last update that we got on this map was back at the beginning of October almost six months ago to the day. But we finally have new information. Dusty Dave's map will be getting a major update to textures, lighting, and other things around the map. He plans on sending this update off for testing in the next few days for PC once everything has been fixed and tested. Once the updated version is sent off to Giants, they will start working on the console version, which I know lots of you have been waiting on. And if you're curious, the Chainsaw is going to be grass added to terrain tool. Flurry trigger at main farm has been fixed. AI traffic has been slowed down. More contracts added to the map. Remove the invisible rocks near the contractor's yard. Change the grain dryer model with better textures. Change the tree textures. Custom uh, PF soil map precision farming. Fix these horses not returning. Change some yard layouts. Improve the tip collisions. New ground and field textures. Fuel, herbicide, and liquid fertilizer. Manual storage has been added, and a new save game will be required, as that is a very extensive update. He closes by saying that the first information on his next project will be announced soon, so stay tuned. But the segue is to my same outro remain cringe at best. Oh, and lazy. Don't forget about lazy. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time recording. Cough, F350, cough. I don't know anything. There's nothing new right now. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be that. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Bye. It's been almost two weeks since I've had my surgery, and I'm finally feeling normal. But what's normal? <laughs>